Hello everybody welcome to another part 3 of learning OpenCV from scratch and today in this video we are going to make this uh, really awesome right we are going to draw on images or maybe on your custom images or maybe you can like there are a lot of possibilities like you can draw rectangle you can draw lines on Im images so without wasting more time let's jump into the video but before please if you uh, enjoy this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel okay so let's start Okay everybody, so I am in Sublime Text Editor. You can use VS Code, uh, Spider, whatever you want to use. It's your own preference. So let's just start by importing CV2 and creating a blank window. Uh, for creating a blank window, you can always use NumPy. So we are going to use NumPy. Uh, again, if you haven't installed NumPy, you can simply say pip install NumPy. And if you run this line, it will going to install NumPy on your PC. Uh, mine is already installed, so I'm not going to do that. So let's create a blank window by saying win. We will name this window win and we'll say np dot zeros and the size of the window let's say 500 uh, comma 500 comma 3 and d type is equals to let's say float 30 float 64. Okay, I guess float 64 is by default, but don't worry. Let's just uh, specify it over here. Okay, so we have a blank window now. Let's just show this window just to make sure everything is working fine on the screen. So we can say cv2 dot show. This is the window name and this is the variable. And let's say this time we'll store uh, cv2 dot wait key for one millisecond. And this time we will store our input key to the k variable and we'll check if k is equals to 27. We will break and obviously as always destroy all windows. Let's try running this code and see if everything is working fine or not. Okay, so everything is working fine. If I press escape key, it takes me out of the uh, loop. So now everything is working fine. Now we just have to add the functionality of drawing. So let's start that. So first of all, you have to create a, let's say, uh, instance you can say this instance which is save to dot named window and in this you have to pass in a variable uh, the window name which is w i n d o w in this case is window right this window name all right so once you say save to dot named window and passing in this window name which is window make sure this and this are exactly same otherwise it will not going to draw the shapes on your window or <laughs> screen okay so once you say that save to dot named window next thing you have to do is set mouse callback which is cv2 dot set capital m mouse capital c callback and in this you have to pass in two arguments one is obviously window name and another is a function which is which is we are going to define in a bit and function i'm going to name is draw function so let's just define this draw function first so this draw function uh, takes some arguments which is event and another another arguments are x and y position of mouse on screen and some other flag and let's say param variable sorry parameters so we are not going to use and none of them but we are going to use event and x y position of our mouse to draw the shapes so when we say cv2 dot set call mouse uh, set mouse callback and we say this window name and this function is called whenever any event is occurred on the screen even if we move the mouse in the screen even if we if we uh, press any key on the screen if we press any mouse button okay so you will uh, come to know in a bit when when i just code further so in the function let's say if event is equals to cv2 dot event underscore l button down so what that mean uh, when this set call mouse set mouse callback i just confused by this name when this set mouse callback is uh, activated whenever any mouse activity has been happened in the screen so this is going to call this function draw function and passing in this event so this event will be like if i move my mouse it will be event underscore mouse move if i press l button down of my mouse it will be event underscore l button down so it's so on there are a lot of uh, events such that so we are checking if the event is equals to left button down of our mouse we will be saying cv2 dot line if you don't know what cv2 dot line or cv2 dot circle whatever this is you can uh, reference to part two of this series and you will come to know so we'll say if uh, i press l button down on the window it will going to draw a circle on obviously our win variable at which position obviously x comma y position and color let's say b g r and the thickness uh, one thing i forgot is the radius let's say two is the radius okay so it looks like everything should work fine let's try running this and see if we get any error or not so if i press l button down there is a small circle let's just make this bigger let's change the radius to five save this get out of this and again run this so now there are green circles so wherever, wherever i'm pressing l button down these circles are being created on the screen if i press um what i call uh, right button down nothing will going to happen unless i specify it over here let's just specify if event is equals to cv2 dot event underscore r button down 
So what should we do that? Let's say it should put a rectangle at that position. Let's say at x comma y position and the offset let's set x plus 3 and y plus 3. 3 should be smaller let's say 30 and I guess color let's say blue color and thickness let's say 3. Let's run this and see if it works or not. So if I press right button down it will going to create a rectangle. If I press left button down it will going to create a circle. Okay, so this is if you press the button. Now, how to create this continuous drawing? Like if I press and hold left button down, how to create those trails? So that's really easy, but a bit of logic you have to apply on this. And the event which you are going to use is mouse move event. So we, we will create a variable called run and we'll initially set this as false and we will say global run. Uh, you know, if you want to or alter this run variable you have to specify in the function named global. So what we will be doing if I say if I press a left button down this should set run variable to true and similarly if I set uh, my L button up it should again set run back to false. Okay I hope this makes sense to you. Now we will check if cv2 dot wait key is equals to event underscore mouse move mouse move okay so then we will draw a circle let's change the color of the circle so that you can make the difference so let's try and run this code hopefully this should work uh, uh, it is continuously drawing I don't know what's the problem in it run is equals to false oh, oh wait guys so we have to check if run is equals to true then only start drawing the circles let's run this now so if I now press and hold my left mouse button down, it will going to draw a lot of circles. If I release my mouse, it will going to stop the drawing. And if I press right button down, it will going to put the rectangles. Now, uh, one thing I just quickly want to show you how to clear this up. So let's say if I press C key or uh, any key on the keyboard, it should create a new blank window for me. So that's the reason why I placed K over here. So you can say if uh, K is equals to ordinal of C. I have explained all these things in the previous part so consider watching the part 1 and 2 if, you, if these things not make sense to you. So I, we can say if I press C key it should recreate this blank window. So I should save this and again run this and draw a lot of circles and rectangles and now if I press C key it is going to uh, give me a blank window and that's pretty much it how you can use this event functionality given by us to us by cv2 open cv and obviously there are a lot of possibilities you can apply a lot of things using these functions and uh, there are a lot of events actually you can you can actually research in the documentation about these events by just searching on the google like cv2 mouse events or keyboard events so you can get a lot of a big list of events and that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you let me know by giving this video a thumb up and subscribing to my channel and with this said, I would like to stop the video and I will catch you in the next part.